12 months since the first case of COVID-19 was reported in the country and Kenya still suffers the harsh effects of the virus on the economy. Top income earners such as transport and tourism have been the hardest hit. But the COVID-19 also came with some good news. 72% of the world's population access the internet every day, hence shifting the focus to online entrepreneurship. However, Kenya's debt is growing and growing fast. But Kenyans remain hopeful that everything will be back to normal. Musa Saleh has more. Business seems to be booming here the fig tree market in Gara, Nairobi, although with few customers trolling the market as they window shop. Twelve months ago, the picture was different. Businesses suffered following the outbreak of the coronavirus disease in March last year. The global pandemic crippling some of Kenya's most top revenue earners, including tourism. It takes something like tourism, um, which normally would earn you know, well in excess of a billion dollars. That's a billion dollar hit just in one segment of the economy. Um, and uh, other parts of the economy have been hit uh, quite hard. The dusk to dawn curfew has seen bars and restaurants close by 9 p.m. with the social distancing guidelines in Matatus reducing vehicle capacity by half. Tumepata mashida mengi, tumechoto kwa sababu ya loans, tumepitia mashida mingi, tumefuta wafanyikazi, watoto wetu wanatulilia. Wengine wetu tumechoto wa mabiashara. Wengine wetu tume, tume invest kwa mambo ya COVID. Tukajikuta ya kwamba hata hatuna stock na hatuna nini. Sa hizi tunaoperate na 50% staff. So 50% tulisha watuma nyumbani. Tunapata ni changamoto kwa sababu, hawa wafanya kazi wote walikuwa trained, walikuwa wazuri, lakini saizi hakuna. Wale watu ambayo tuneka kwa gari ni wachache sana. Na tukua tunaomba, kama siyasa zinafanywa, na watu wana, watu wana kongamana, hawana mask, wanafanya nini, na isisi tunafota protocol zote, tunawosha watu wetu mikono, abiria wetu, kile kitu tunafota vile netakikana. Itabu likuwe na beba, kama ni nisa ni likuwe na beba watu kumine wa ine, na kuachia mia. Just three months into the pandemic and Kenya was struggling to foot its bills, recording an underperformance in its revenue collection by 40 billion shillings between July and August last year. Kenya's economy shrank by 5.7% in the second quarter of 2020, its first quarterly contraction since the global financial crisis 12 years ago, forcing Kenya to turn to its global partners for loans to cushion its economy from the effects of the virus. But make no mistake that this has been a serious economic, uh, I call it a circuit breaker, um, it's it's uh, it, it's affected our economy. It's ex it accelerated many of the issues which were there, um, like the debt uh, load. Uh, we've had to go to the DSSI. We've had to go to the World Bank and to the IMF. And uh, an objective observer would say that uh, we are really now. Um, uh, under the control of the IMF and it's essentially a consequence of the pandemic and the effect on the economy. But according to economists, although global economies continue to crumble, the virus has brought along with it some good news for e-commerce entrepreneurs, with reports indicating that global online consumption grew by 72% during the COVID-19 crisis. Um, what has performed well has been agriculture, um, and this is a phenomenon we've seen across the continent um, and I would say it is agriculture which has outperformed and probably also digitization, mobile money, mobile telecoms, because more and more people have had to rely on those services. This is a trend we've seen globally. 
a lot of businesses were forced to shut down when COVID-19 struck the country. And 12 months on, the economy is still on its knees. Kenyans hopeful that things will get back to normal soon. Musa Salah, TV 47, Nairobi.